And we're going to show you guys how the podcast room is looking. First time recording in the new house. Yeah. <laughs> Mayfair's playroom. <laughs> Malika's playroom. Designed by Mayfair. <laughs> to calm my bob and I'm much much prefer it. It just has like a little bit more body, a little bit more swish and we're going to show you guys how the podcast room is looking in just a second. Okay guys so this is the podcast setup. Yeah the crew are going to be here soon in about 20 minutes so they may want to like rearrange some stuff but I thought this was a good spot because we've got a window right here and then also a window right there. And guys, I thrifted this lamp, this gorgeous wicker lamp from Goodwill for $5. Damn good deal. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> Could not believe it. It's gorgeous. Literally, they have a really similar one in Target for like $35. So I was so happy with it. But um, yeah, I think it looks cute. We'll see how it looks on camera and when we have all of the lighting in and stuff. Because it's a bit of a grey day, so... The lighting isn't amazing the natural lighting isn't amazing but i think with some artificial lights and stuff it'll be perfect i did want to put some artwork up but i didn't have a chance but it's fine we'll keep improving with each session but if you guys are wondering malika hasn't been in the vlogs recently she hasn't been much in the vlogs recently and she won't be in the vlogs for like the next couple of weeks and if you're curious as to why we did share with our two and ten thousand family on patreon and we're going to be talking a bit more about what's been going on in a podcast episode that we're recording today so if you are signed up to patreon the two and ten thousand community and you want to be a bit more involved in our lives then go ahead and do that it's really just a space where we feel like we can just be more open with you guys we're very protective about what we share about our family our daughter but this community just kind of feels like family especially kind of like now having like our monthly zoom sessions we actually 
get to know you guys by name, who you are, where you're from, your stories, how, you know, your stories align with us. Like some of you guys are also into abled couples and it's just super, super cool. So if you aren't already part of the community, that has just been filling us up so much. And we're committed to pouring more and more into that, especially now that we have a filming space in our very own home so yeah anyway got about 20 minutes we're just gonna do like a bit of planning for the podcast and then yeah get things popping <laughs> hey hey guys good morning good morning <laughs> morning today is podcast day yes so we're in our podcast uniform yes. ready to go yeah if you guys want want these 2024 might be the year that we make them available. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, are you excited about today? Very excited. <laughs> now I'm looking forward to it. It's been a little while since we recorded. First time recording in the new house. Yeah. So I think that'll be fun. Let's see how it goes. New space, new energy, all of that. Yeah, so keep you guys posted on the day. You can hear Malika in the back singing with her grandma. <laughs> first question I think and then that will help me gauge the level. I'm just trying to get me into <laughs> we're doing a podcast episode on questions we always wanted to ask each other and he's trying to get me to reveal mine before and I'm like no. Because I don't know what black we're going for. Are we going for very very serious questions? It's whatever you want to ask. Are we going for you know like you fun couple tag? You can do a mix. It's just whatever you want to ask. Who's right? Me or her? fresh recipes and things like that this was like a dollar let me know if you guys want a full thrifting haul because i try and go in basically like i just go in every week the best time to go especially to goodwill was like on the weekend like on a sunday or even a monday because that's when people like people tend to drop stuff off on the weekends so yeah if you go on sunday or monday you get all of the fresh deals um but yeah i thought this was just like really cute as you can tell i'm, I'm in my return wicker era like i said the interior design style that i'm going for is like organic modern modern organic never remember which way around it is so just those really natural materials really work with it so yeah anyway we're gonna go do some planning while the guys set up for the podcast and then we'll catch up. so while the team is still getting set up i wanted to show you guys just give you guys a quick playroom tour. mayfair's playroom <laughs> malika's playroom designed by mayfair <laughs> So right here we have the, I guess like the toy storage area. I wanted the whole thing to kind of be Montessori style in the sense that like she should be able to like reach everything herself. Some toys are missing here because Malaika and Buya have set up a toy room down, downstairs too. But yeah, these boxes are just labeled with like common stuff. So arts and crafts, instruments, puzzles and then she usually has like three toys here and they're open and on this side she kind of basically has her toy rotation stuff usually it's just like her love every play kit plus maybe like a couple more things so these are like i'll switch these out and rotate these based off of what she's playing with at the moment and then we have like her animal sorting thing here which is like a good level for her and her little ball run toy and then here i think i'm probably gonna put a soft mat down or something like that which you can kind of use so that's this area okay and then here we have like her reading corner slash cozy tent which you guys have seen already this rug is just from amazon and the tent is also from amazon and then we have her table you guys saw what i painted these chairs white I really like 
like how it turned out. We just have her alphabet here and then crayons and stuff go there. I'm also going to put some like educational posters up here and then she's got some more books here and I'll probably put some artwork up here but yeah this is how it's looking so far and it's definitely going to be a work in progress. Oh I also made this fun thing. I literally just bought the paper for like a dollar a paper from Michaels and then just put it on a string and I thought it was like a really cute touch. I might add one on this side but yeah we'll see. Anyway just wanted to give you guys that quick tour but I think we're about ready to start recording the podcast now so let's do it. <laughs> Californian <laughs> vegan vibes. <laughs> we have the chair right there. Space for Winston right here. The big bulb. Fuzzy thing. You know the vibes. You guys want to be on the Patreon and see these exclusive amazing things? Just let us know. <laughs> How was your walk? So I brought some flowers. You want to show them some flowers? flowers? Ooh, flowers. Ooh, look, they bought this arrangement. I picked all the flowers myself. Wow. I did it. Thank you did. You did it. Good job. High five. <laughs> day old, well, end of the day makeup. Anyway, Malaika is in bed. It's quarter past eight, which is really good. Her bedtime is eight. Winston's still in there, like, you know, just helping her go to sleep. But I am going to take my makeup off and have myself a nice relaxing bath. I've been looking forward to this pretty much all week. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to just have some self care, take my makeup off, put a face mask on and just yeah, have a nice soak. It was a really successful podcast filming day. We managed to get three episodes recorded. We were thinking of, we always have like a fourth one planned, but I think energy really matters as well. We never want our energy to be flat. And we just thought three episodes about like a sweet spot. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to pour my little drink, light my candle and have my bath. And then I'm going to just do a bit of weekly planning using my digital planner my weeks always go 10 times better and more organized when i plan so let's go ahead and do that to do this last night but I was super super tired so I didn't get to but I wanted to just give a few quick tips for I guess like planning your week I feel like especially like as a mother or as a homemaker if that's like primarily what you're doing it can kind of I used to find it really difficult to kind of like balance all of the moving parts that I needed to do so obviously you guys know I have a digital weekly planner which you can download and there's like a full tutorial on how to use it but I wanted to give a few tips that really helped me to plan my week whether you have the planner or whether you don't the first one that I would say is like take a look at what are the set appointments that 
you have to do that week before even writing out a to-do list or thinking about what new things you want to put on your plate is like have a look at what are the fixed things on your calendar that need to get done whether it's your child has a doctor's appointment maybe you have a work meeting like whatever like set appointments that you have to have and I will put them each day I will put okay cool this is a set appointment I have for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday etc or even if it's like a week like this week it's Valentine's Winston's birthday is on Sunday and that is a great place to start because then you can actually have a look okay wow like I have a lot of appointments going on this week it doesn't make sense for me to write myself this huge to-do list it's unrealistic or you can have a look and say wow I have a super light week I don't have any doctor's appointments for my kids I don't have anything that's like a hard requirement maybe this would be a great week to get you know something that I've been wanting to get done like for example do a clear out of the closet and take some things to a donation center. So that's the first thing is like write down what are your set appointments that you wanna get done. The second tip that I have is writing down like ahead of time, like what are the, I guess like what are the key things that you wanna get done, but making sure you prioritize it as in like, this is the most important thing that I wanna get done this week down to, okay, I could kind of live without doing this thing. It's okay if it gets pushed over later. And I think this prioritizing really kind of helps you because again, Life is unpredictable, especially when you have kids or young kids, like things can happen. You know, you can have a child that ends up getting poorly. Your child just may be a little bit needy, like whatever it is. So I think it's good to kind of like give yourself like a minimum list, which is the most important thing. And then kind of say, okay, cool. If I have extra time, I can also get these things done. And then the final tip that I would say with planning your week is schedule in time for your self-care i actually have a category on my plan that says my i don't know if you can see it but it says my self-care activities for this week are and i love this because it's just something that i can reach for because how many times like have we reached the middle of the week you are overwhelmed and you're like god like i need to do something to relax but you've got no idea what would actually help you to feel relaxed. So kind of thinking about two or three things that you can do for self-care is really great. And they don't have to cost a ton of money. Like it could be having a warm bath. It could be making yourself a coffee and sitting outside in the garden and enjoying that coffee. It could be calling a friend, anything like, and having a think about what self-care looks like for you, depending on the, you know, the things that you have set in that week if that makes sense. So if it's a week that's gonna require like a lot of you physically, maybe self-care will be something like having a bath to really relax your body. If it's a week that's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be some things that may be mentally challenging, then self-care might look like doing some journaling or calling a friend because you know that's really gonna help to relax you. But anyway, I hope those tips helped. Yeah, I definitely hate to plug myself, but I don't. If you are a mom, you have most multiple moving parts. I literally designed this planner for moving parts. I literally designed this planner for you, with you in mind, because I know how difficult it can be to balance getting the work stuff that you need to get done, making sure your husband feels loved and you get to pour into your marriage, making sure, you know, kids stuff gets done, work stuff gets done, and then also pouring back into yourself. So this planner is literally designed to allow you to take care of all of those moving parts. So check it out. Again, even if you don't use that planner, I promise you just spending a little bit of time, you know, at the beginning of the week, kind of planning out your week, it will help you to feel less anxious during the week and it'll help you to feel like more accomplished, I guess. So yeah, anyway guys, see you in another video. Thanks for watching.